All right, what's up everybody? Back again, welcome to another video. So we are gonna be taking the rest of the items and unwrapping them from the storage pallet auction. All right, I'm about to open this. Without further ado, I'm gonna be really bummed out if there's actually nothing in the drawers. But if there is, if there is. It absolutely worked. All right, here we go. Just pulled up at Little Twins' house. Got to make a mission to Philadelphia right now. Uh, we are, be, I'm going to be touring the Ethic Worldwide headquarters. For the very first time, and I'm inviting you all to join me on this exciting adventure. So let's go see what this guy's doing. He's probably in his recording studio right now. Hey, er. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Doing some construction, bro. Doing uh -huh. some construction. Whoa! What's up, baby? Don't holler if it ain't about a dollar. Don't holler if it ain't about a dollar. Whoa! What's up? Are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing it, baby. I got, I got our lunch pack, you know? I got the rice cakes on deck. Got you an apple. You want an apple, man? I could hit it. All right. Let's take it for the ride, though, All right? All right, for sure, for sure. You never know. I didn't know if you wanted to keep the doctor away. An yeah. apple a day? Yeah, but that's not organic. That's some GMO shit. All right, whatever, man. I'll eat the fucking apple. <laughs> what are we about to do? Dude, I don't know, man. We're about to get ourselves into something, dude. I, I got uh, hit up the homies Black Teeth. They're gonna be putting together like a little studio session thing. So when we get there, you might see me in my element. You know, All might right. Be there or something. Oh wait, wait! I got something for you. Oh, what you I'll gift it to you before we leave. You no, I wish. All right, I found this box of hockey cards on the side of the road. Don't ask me what's in it. I have no idea. I never even looked. But I'm assuming if he hits like a twenty thousand dollar card. Yo, don't ask me what's in here because I have no idea. But if you hit like the deal is if you hit like a fifty thousand dollar car, you get something. Type I'll shit. get some for sure, for sure. I don't know. I literally found it. That's fire though. We can definitely go through it, or I can go through it for sure. I mean, it's probably just, it's probably a it's probably a bunch of boo boos. Yeah, because like, I, I figured the, you you were in your element. Maybe you well, could no, just like, look there, through. If it. there's a a prime person in here, depending on what year it is, like that might be the only good thing. But other than that, like they just produced so many cards in this era of like the 90s and the 80s and everybody that had the like a michael card jordan error. card yeah. you know yeah the junk card error is what they call it i had so many cards i just started throwing them out but that's like if you look on like some of these hobby boxes like this is from 1990 uh, so if you were to get something like this which is like from 2023 like you're looking for an autograph or a rookie and it says it on the box like on here like there was like no and hype also it's like it. how many other people started to open up their packs that they saved and then the market was like oh well there's actually way more of those cards than they thought exactly what's, what's up, up man how, how are you doing what's up baby so we're uh going to the philly labs right now it's a creative space where we have uh, an audio lab where people can record music podcasts you know stuff like that if you're a singer you can do stuff like that voiceovers or whatever we got a photo room if you're a model or if you need headshots or whatever type of dude i need headshots need. Yeah, no, that's for my acting profile no, uh, portfolio i got you for my imdb thing for sure we got you we got you covered dog <laughs> we'll get you in the next movie can we for real yeah i'm super serious we got a photographer there we got a product shot room so if you got like i don't know hot sauce and you were like putting it on the table you have like that bird's eye camera view that like it's shoots like, down like spin around I don't think it spins around. We don't have that. I actually do, but I think it's on a bigger scale. Like if you put like a T-shirt on like a rack, it's spun around. And Alex, you know the head honcho, OG, the Lord, uh, creator, co-founder. I mean co-founder, the founder of uh, Epic. So this is gonna be lit. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I like don't expect like a party, but yeah. I don't it, like parties. So thank God. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun ass time. See this guy with the dumpster. He's just living him. my dream right now. And just like that, reserved parking. Reserved, baby. 
know what I'm saying? First class. What are we doing? Uh, what part of this is actually the spot? The whole thing? Yeah, it's inside. We gotta go, you know. Let me lock my door. Hold on, let me lock it. Here we go. Yes, sir. The red door. The red door. Here's the directory. There's a lot of uh, heavy crews in here, huh? There is. Second floor, you see it, though. They might be pissed about me being in the fulfillment spot, though. This is sick. There's like a prop house in here. That guy must be filming like a movie with all that stuff. Finally, we made it. The international headquarters. Yeah, I'll put this banner up outside my house. Bro, no way. Is it real? The boy. What is up? How are you? Good, good. Welcome to HQ, the, I guess. The go inter tour? international headquarters. Yeah, you want to give a little tour? Yeah. Um, so like, right now we're like prepping for like Black Friday mystery boxes. So Black just, Friday like, mystery boxes. Yeah. Break them up and this is going to be like seven T's for something. I haven't really figured out like what the whole thing is, but seven T's for something. So those are. We're just kind of finding cool random little items and we're put them into mystery boxes. They don't know what they're gonna get until they order it, kind of deal. But they can they can pick the size, that's pretty much it? Yeah, they can pick the size. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So like, we'll, do, wow. we'll, we'll do those like up to like 500, like, for, like massive, like three jackets, four hoodies, one windbreaker, like stuff like that. And people just eat it up, huh? Yeah. This is where all our headwear is. How to deal. The majority of the headwear is, is here, and then after that, like, like this is all just stuff. And there's just a lot of product here. Oh, the tank top, shorts, whatever. All like the lighter things we put on the inside are like the heavy duty, like windbreakers and jackets, whatever. On this little outer wall over here. Bro, and mind then, like, blown. All yeah, right. And these are just just socks, just boxes of socks all the way across. It's just stuff. So what do you just get a little step stool to get up there? Uh, yeah, we got some. We got um. <laughs> We got one in the front. I think we just too high to even reach. You yeah, got stuff yeah. stacked to the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, right here. We got this little. So we got a bigger one too, but this one. That one's done. nice. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I'm loving the layout though. That's pretty. So yeah, there's just a few more rows. Got around over. Here. Got around over here. Is he picking stuff? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> the boy. What is <laughs> up? How you guys are know you? each other, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's helped. Really, he's helped. We're just like moving stuff around so we can like count them properly, you know, because there's just it's just a lot of stuff. A so, lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you, if you <laughs> fell over and everything fell down on you on like a holiday weekend and no one was around, you could just drown and die there. Oh yeah, you're dead. Like this, yeah, that that shelf comes down. Like, like this one fell on his head, he would yeah. just be dead there. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> That's a few thousand pounds of clothing just dropping on you. The Twilight Zone. Um, this is where we receive just skids or just like whatever, like large shipments come in, we'll put them here, we still have a few up there. And just sort them through there? Yeah, we just sort them here, kind of deal. Alright. Right now it's kind of like just, a lot of things been moving back and forth, just furniture with the store and whatnot. Alright, we got the light here. Oh yeah. A little bit of light at least. Yeah. We don't yeah. need it over here. The Actually, embroidery this machine. Working around the embroidery machine here. But let me take you back around. Th this one doesn't work yet. No, I, I bought it. Um, dude, it's fucking like eight thousand dollars. I just bought it. It got shipped over here. It took eight months, and then we just never touched it. It's a Twelve needle double head embroidery machine. Oh my goodness. I don't know. This thing, like, if you want to buy it now, it's like twelve thousand dollars. 
<laughs> so you actually could just sell it again. I could, but like it, we, we were talking about making stuff here. I know? feel you, yeah. So I just, Smart. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like the world of random things. There's like boxes of light bulbs, you know. Like. Pretty, really well organized though, considering yes. how much it is. Yeah, we got some blank hoodies up there. Right. Oh, true. You could do like screen printing here too, huh? Yeah, there's a screen printer. We have a screen printer under that. Absolute like mayhem. Cool. Damn, boys. This is Jordan's office. He's currently doing a photo shoot. That's He'll pretty be back nice. in a little bit, yeah. Ryan's there, I'm here, and this is like... Here, I got a gift I for you. Oh, uh, well, good. You might like it. If not, you can just throw it out, but... I got it yesterday at the storage auction, but I feel like it fits the vibe for you. Should I open this now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's already unwrapped. It's not a... Uh, dude. What? You had like a little martini set, right? Yeah, are you serious? That's pretty sick, right? Yeah. I'm gonna hook you up with some stuff when you leave. I still got that shirt. But like, me. these are the glasses too. What? So it was like all in with, I bought everything. I bought pallets and stuff, but I figured like, I saw and I was this dude, he sick, would want dude. this. Maybe this just fun. wash it out first, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that definitely, that like definitely fits the vibe over here. You could put it, you know what I mean, on your, somewhere around your desk. It came from the guy's office. He was like in the United Nations or something, it said on his paperwork. He likes the gift. Okay, here we go. Right. The next section. Yeah. This is more of like the lounge studio area. Is this like where Little Twin likes to frequent? Yeah, no. This is like an office. This used to be my old office. Oh, so we're you don't like you don't to... like being alone in here though. We might turn this to a podcast. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I kind of like I kind of like work some. I kind of like I can focus with late night by myself. A little bit of wine, you know. That's nice. This is where you do the e-com shots, like the product shots for the website. These are real nice. Are these motocross or oh, for bro, skiing? You want to see, like, this stuff is in. This one's showing here that it's not being released for like two more years. Like a year. Are we allowed to show it on YouTube or yeah, is that terrible? Why not? Dude, no. Take this shit out. That's absolutely fire. All right? It's fucking sick. It's like a fisherman jacket kind of deal. I it's matching pants. wear jackets like that. It's like matching from, like, pants the that go with it. I mean, like, the pants are really sick, but the top is, is yeah. what sells it really for me. Yeah, that's just like, That's amazing, actually. Stuff like that. That's sick, dude. I like that a lot. But yeah, we're working on some cool stuff for like... Next Showing year. the stuff that not even come out yet, so you're going to have to wait for that. This one here. Yeah. We just like brought in a bunch of more stuff. This is like the lounge. This is fire. Yeah. This is like working at Google, bro. Yeah, this guy really knows how to um, make his employees feel comfortable. Um, and then, little kitchen area. I have no idea why, but I just randomly installed a walk-in shower in here. I would love that. Yeah. What if you wanted to live in here, then you could. I mean, if you want to do a little overnight here, you know, it's relatively easy. Does anyone shower in there or never? Once ever? in a while. That's I mean, it gets clean. Uh, there's like an event on Friday, so it gets clean like once a week. Basically. I got you, yeah. Every and if you're like doing like event. a crazy photo shoot or something, maybe someone has to shower after. Yeah, but like it's just like people don't really shower unless like there's like an event here, they're staying overnight. Like yeah. it's a very rare circumstance. Like if I have a long day, like I'll just crash here and take a shower if I want to. They, uh, like if you're doing a stunt or something though and you got all your fire gear on and you need to like clean after. Oh yeah, yeah. You That's exactly. what I always think about. Yeah. You guys just have a kitchen, mini fridge, you know, like whatever. Like On point. And this is the theater room, basically. And this this was like the ethic sign that was up at your store, right? This was this was this a, one. Uh, that was outside. This the, I'll show you that one in a second. This one was actually in the Los Angeles. Store. That's what I'm saying. Inside, I saw the picture on oh, your, yeah, on your Instagram. The Los I, I store, think yeah. I saw it. Yeah. This was, there's like a line fountain and like a whatever, and then that was on the other side of it. That's amazing. Yeah, and this is just like a more like a chill, like a nice space. You can just like chill. hang out up yeah. there. So this is a theater, and this is a projector screen right here. So basically, so like, if you wanted to premiere like the epic movie that's about to come out, yeah, you can just literally. Like, oh. This is sick. Or just watch like horror movies. Yeah, you can, like, we were talking about just doing like a theater night kind of deal, or just something like. No, that's a great idea. Yeah. Because, like, remember what I was talking about, like, when I had that little Halloween party? That's what I had, like, a projector set up. And I just watched, like, horror movies. So, right up my alley. Wow. Wow.
That's a little spin off of a Banksy piece. Yeah. This is gonna be so. This is gonna be a photo studio over here. With like, this used to be my old office. My that second. desk, dude. See, that's what the martini setup was for. Yeah. So you can have it like right here, dude. <laughs> this is a nice yeah. desk, though. But right now, this is being this is being turned into like another photo studio. This is presidential, actually. Yeah, that's actually that's what it's called, the presidential desk. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I can see yeah. why. I can see <laughs> why. <laughs> oh man, this is this that's studio. like some shit you would see at an auction, though. Yeah. Because like it's impossible to move it, so people just. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. This is the photo studio. This is where I do like live pop shots. <coughs> perfect. In this room. Yeah. I need some headshots. I was telling them. Oh, but it's perfect. There spot you go. For right. Yeah. And then we'll go up this, way. this is where like people actually walk in. You walk through like the warehouse entrance. This is like this is, the this is like the the storefront basically. Yeah, it's like you walk in this way to go into these rooms, kind of. Okay. Wow. And is this all the collection that's now being that's actually on on the store? There's like the most recent stuff. Yeah. There's some older pieces, but we just you know there's not enough space here for everything, so we just put the most recent stuff. Wow. Yeah. Loving it. I do think I like uh, uh, these, the the racing stuff that you made a lot. Oh, the ones that were like the, the jacket uh, that you had at the casino, oh, yeah. and then these I got would you. kind I got of you. be. Oh, dude, you want a double stuff, right? If you have it, uh, yeah. Before I forget, I'm gonna... well, we'll finish this tour real quick. And then this is the recording studio, and this is the heavy crew in here already. My way. What's up? Do you have any uh, extra cables in the car? No. They have like a whole wall of cables over there though. Well, oh yeah? Dude, no way. This is for me. There it is, yeah. I gotta put it on now. Yeah. No way. It's almost too good. I mean, I, I already know it looks good. No way. Is this a real thing? It's so fire. Truly a blessing. Love this thing already. I used to have a bush one. But I ain't nothing compared to this. Super stoked. He gave me a bag of goodies. Ethic Worldwide. Their warehouse is amazing, as you guys can see. Black Friday sale coming up. So I will definitely link their website in the description of this video. And I'll pin it in the comments as well. Because, like, they've showed me so much love since I met these guys. And just, you know, reached out, show support. And I just feel like anybody who supports you, you have to support them back. So go check out their website and maybe buy some gear. Actually, there it is right there. Instagram is Ethic Worldwide. Website, ethicworldwide.com. Pray for your enemies. I like that. But right now I'm about to do a drone shot and then I'm gonna go back up in there and probably film some more with Little Twin. She probably took the thing out of the door so I'm gonna have to call him anyway. <laughs> As you guys can tell from just the preview video, that this is a very legitimate business. They're like filling orders. It's funny, my friend Ryan that I've known, literally his dad is my neighbor, works here. And that's amazing. I'm going to go take a little ride around. And then when we come back, I'll try to do more footage in the studio and do like a little interview with Little Twin as well. But let's go check out the area right here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bronx bar looks so gnarly. This is gnarly over here. Surprising. It seems like so nice on the other side of that causeway, but wow. Check that out. EMR Scrapyard. This is the same company that I always go to. Look, 1 800 Scrap It. Legendary. That's legit. Okay, story time, here we go. I'm not even gonna put the footage in because it's, obviously he was really upset about it. So I went down this road and went down the other road and I passed by this guy that was sitting in his truck smoking crack. Obviously I was just going for the ride, he didn't know that. So I rode past him and then I rode back past him and I stopped and then I took my phone out, reconfiguring where I even was and he pulled up to me and he was losing his mind right he was like you, you yeah, that, 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 why, why'd you just take my license plate down da, 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 da. i guess he was like a hell's angel or or like in a biker gang i literally did not do it on purpose at all no idea i think he was smoking meth actually i didn't do it on purpose no idea who the guy is never saw him before in my life but he was really pissed really really mad and yeah, that was gnarly. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show his truck or anything because like it's just not right. But wow, he was like the maddest person I've ever dealt with in like the last year. But yeah, here we are. We're back at the warehouse. A little skate turned into some total mayhem there for a second. What's the claim? You just out here around freestyling on some turntables, baby. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't actually. You don't know what I'm saying? Well, let's play some rap, you know what I mean? Let's play some of your jams. That's what I'm saying, baby. We're gonna play Are these game. copyrighted, though? Are these copyrighted? Like, you uploaded them to Apple or something? I uploaded them all to uh, SoundCloud. Not to iTunes? No. Damn. Did they take the chords? What kind of chords? I don't know. I gotta see.
enough, dude. That was just, that was literally just right, boys. That was it, dude. That was the wave. Favorite. Oh, I love songs like that. I like deep shit though. I got I got mad deep shit for sure. This one's fire. I put a, mad, a lot of emotion into this one for sure. I love this one. Fresh off the tree, homegrown. Yeah, that's me. It was not really like a song. It was more like a random freestyle. But let's see if I can hear this joint really good in the headphones. Or maybe you can put these on so you can hear it. Turn me down, turn out. 
on different dinner dates, yeah, and pick you the shit, man, and say it, man. Plenty one pennies, man, he definitely ain't getting any cheap talk. Make it make sense. Everything I rap about just pay rent. No, he's kidding, man. That'd be really cool, though. Hey, you see the Garden State cruising on that E-way. Ping pong and back and forth to Philly on the freeway. Just to get it where I am. Looking at the glass half full. I'm happy when I can. You can't bring me down. She's not playing the God's hands. My drive is Tesla, self-steering. My parents still fearing. What am I to do now? I'm relying on these meetings, feeling stomachs tied in a knot. Anxiety is screaming. Dreaming for the day is my shot. Until then, my family tree need a garden, more land so we can get out them apartments. Straight fire. Yeah, well, you know. Come through here the machine. So I didn't really show in detail. Love this. Like this a lot. Like this a lot. These are sick. These are fire. Is great. But these, these are sick. This is really nice setup here. I'm gonna check this out. Hold on. Since we went through this so quick before, I just wanted to show potentially some of the props here. This is really cool. You are here. No, we're not. What is this? Is this like a tent? Fog machines and shit? This is locked up because they got some camera gear in there. Tripods and shit. More different ravels. French terry tees that up in here. I got a pink backdrop too. Haven't seen that before. Please do not operate the backdrop. That makes sense. These letters are cool. All right, we're out. Look at the sunset. Looks so cool, but we're about to go get some food and then I'll bring some back to my wife as well. All right, here we are, plant-based cafe. This place is really good, although I've never been at this location before, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll, we're gonna do a review here. Get nourished. This like already smells so good here, though. Uh, excuse me. No way does this look this good. Yo, baby. Do you like that? With lettuce? Hell yeah. fucking no, dog. This, like, what do, I, what do I look like? What do you mean it looks really good? No, it does, but I'd rather have it on bread. Fork, though. Definitely might need a fork. He's a gluten free guy, so he has to have no bread. So I'm a vegetarian, so this is actually vegan meatballs. Could you imagine? Well, not the first time I actually had had this before. Let's go. Tony Bologna Everybody makes this, right? Everybody knows the rules. That was so good. That looks so good. This is a big ass sandwich. Oh, I just did that way too much and made myself sick. So back from the ethic factory, bam, got some fresh gear. Shout out to Alex and little twin for hooking it up, showing me the place. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got the new video up. It's about to go live in three hours. Got that done. 
Now we can revert the attention back to the pallet auction items. We have like two piles of various items that are pretty easy to tell what they are, but I haven't seen what how the condition of any of them really. There's a desk in the trailer, completely wrapped, and I'm really interested to see if there's items in the desk because that is kind of the MO of this storage company. I've seen dressers, desks, side tables, all kinds of different pieces of furniture that are just filled with items. So let's go outside and check this out. The desk could actually be really nice itself too. Probably not as nice as the presidential desk, but this is presidential actually. Yeah, that's actually that's what it's called, the presidential desk. That would be a good buy. Pro tip, if it's hard to drink a lot of fluids, add one of these to a big mason jar and it makes juice water, basically, watered down juice. And you could literally just drink gallons of it, I feel like, because it tastes so good. Ooh. Oh, there's an LOL in here. There's a and frying pan. And I found more LOLs in here. I'm keeping them. Yeah, you can have all of them. Nope, fan. Come on. Come here. I'm not having any of those. Those are for the neighbor. This is an Ikea desk, made in Lithuania. This might actually be pretty nice. All right, so we have this chair, this chair, which is like a totally different chair altogether. Got to bring it out here. And we have all four of these. I just unwrapped the last two. Sadly, this was broken somehow along the way in storage. Maybe repairable, but devalues the set by like a ton of money. This is what happens a lot at this storage auction, that look. Broken. It's just already like that when I bought it. I didn't even know. So that's worthless trash. All right, let's get into the desk. Without further ado, I'm gonna be really bummed out if there's actually nothing in the drawers. But if there is, if there is. the desk itself is absolutely worked and there's nothing in it what a complete waste the anticipation for this was really high all right let's see what this shelf looks like if it's as bad as the desk this is going downhill right now quickly I opened in the last video a mirror and two rugs from the same company as this plus the sheets were from this company too this is pretty obvious what this was from the start 
an armchair. To be honest, not that bad, not terrible. I could sell this, I feel like, because it has a stool with it too. Right there. All right, I'm about to open this. Without further ado, I'm gonna be really bummed out if there's actually nothing in the drawers. But if there is, if there is. I mean, really, the desk itself is like, absolutely worked, and there's nothing in it. What a complete waste. The anticipation for this was really high. All right, let's see what this shelf looks like. If it's as bad as the desk, this is going downhill right now, quickly. This is in good condition, but not an expensive shelf, I wouldn't say. Looks like it came from Ikea or Staples. Do you like this desk? I mean, this shelf? Do you like this shelf? Oh, it's feather. What's feather? I feel like they bought an entire, like, apartment just from feather. So I opened, in the last video, a mirror and two rugs from the same company as this. Plus, the sheets were from this company too. Some of those sheets. This is pretty obvious what this was from the start. An armchair. But to be honest, not that bad. Not terrible. I could sell this, I feel like. Because it has a stool with it too. Right there. All right, we got the armchair, stool, combo, four wooden chair combo. We got the desk, hmm, not that good. The, the shelf, easy to sell. And still two more things to unwrap that are most likely either shelves or beds, let's say. These two. They feel like they might be shelves though. All right, this is all I'm gonna do here for an item that's actually decent. Take some pictures, probably a decent amount of pictures actually. Put them on Facebook and then just sell it. And that's literally what I'm gonna do with each item that we got is just take pictures of them. If they're deemed sellable for like 30 or more dollars, sell them. And really the only thing we have left to do is, well, the bed and this thing right here. But I don't even know, that's nothing good probably. Sorry, I wish I had better news. The only thing we can really do is try the other charger with the Mac. Yesterday, or the last video, I should say, it wasn't yesterday, when we got the pallet, I started going through everything and I ended up finding this in basically a suitcase bag or br a briefcase bag, technically is what it would be, I guess. But then I tested it with one charger and it didn't work. So let's see if it works with the other one. Concern. And think that maybe the computer might not work. Uh-oh. Is 
it even the same size? Dude. No way. It's a different size. It's very similar, but a different size. I gotta look through the rest of my cords. Okay, that's where I just found this is the third cord I'm gonna test. This could be, this is probably the, tr the true make or break, because this is definitely a Mac cord. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Getting carried away here. All right, for the last time, hopefully. Tell me this is a joke. How many different freaking chargers are there? It's really, oh my gosh. It literally doesn't fit. I figured I would include some of the selling of the items in the video. First big sale, not that big, but I'm gonna sell all the cups to one person. I posted all five boxes for a hundred bucks. The trick to selling, my personal trick to selling stuff that I think works really well is sell the stuff for what people will actually buy it for or even cheaper than what someone might buy it for. You don't really have to go down on price when your prices are good. People actually buy the stuff. Um, I do see a lot of over-exaggerating of prices on YouTube and I feel like it's just unrealistic to get top dollar for every item doesn't really work like this. At an auction like this, you're kind of buying to be the wholesaler. So you figure, just move the stuff, move on, go to the next. The one thing I will say that's difficult about this specific auction is, so I'm left with these shelves, two sets of shelves that are look like they're in good condition, but no hardware for the shelves, no bolts, no nuts, no screws, nothing. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that because there is nothing to put them together that I've found yet. It could have been on another pallet that was part of this person's stuff and I didn't purchase it. I don't know for sure. So that's a bummer. So I have that set, another set down here, and I have a leaf for a table that I did not get. I didn't purchase the table, I just purchased the leaf. So it's kind of useless in that sense, because somehow the actual table ended up on a different pallet, someone else bought it and took it away somewhere else. I'm sure the table without the leaf would be fine, but the leaf without the table is no good. So this is probably gonna have to be trash. I don't know what else to do with it. The other thing is too, there was a chair in here that got damaged. So stuff gets damaged in storage or coming out of storage because they know once somebody doesn't pay for it, they treat the stuff differently than if they thought it was somebody's stuff. Just a couple things. I do have this bed set that I have not put together yet, um, but we're gonna see how that works. Move this stuff over here, get it ready for the guy to come, and then I'll see about this bed. These chairs though, there's at least three of them. Not really sure why there wouldn't be four, but I don't see four. Unless, what's under here? What even is this? I forget. Oh, that's the bike. There's stuff under there that I never even opened yet. I believe this is the bed that goes to this bed. I'm hoping. We'll see. It was hard, like ready to tell. We use them for juice. Okay. And uh, and you need it a top or a little bit more yeah. stability. Yeah. I got you. No yeah. worries, dude. Yeah. It's all right. Are you in the restaurant business or something? No, it's from an auction. It was a restaurant, though. I guess. Okay. A bar. Oh. Okay. Also, what happens? So confused because. It's so easy to tell exactly what kind of cups they are. You can look them up online and just look at the description and it's so easy to know what kind of cups these are. Everybody knows. So I have no idea what he was expecting, a different cup than what was in the picture. I'm not sure, but he didn't buy it.
I feel like the Sheraton's so outdated. Yeah, this right? this building just seems like kind of creepy, right? Uh, yeah. Like the moisture on the windows. All right, what's up everybody? So you all have seen the Ethic Warehouse and they have a store in Atlantic City. So we are going on a little family mission just to check out the store really quick. I'm not sure how long this segment's gonna be, but we'll show you the new Ethic Worldwide store. Yes. I think maybe we should just cross this way first. So this is what they call the walk of Atlantic City and it's basically all of the outlets. It's actually like very busy right now, but didn't really see that uh, coming. I thought we were gonna get parking right away. Are we crossing here? No, we're gonna go over here. Oh. Imagine valeting yourself for the walk though. Did Don't you do that before? Tourists. And they valeted that? Barely afford my gas. What, you were valeting it? Yeah, I was like applying for a job. This is when I was younger. I guess but. go this way. All right, here it is. The infamous walk. We did go to the Timberland store one time in a vlog like five years ago. Remember that? Oh, I remember. This is actually blowing my mind. Like this is a prime location for a store. All around this way I guess but I just didn't see that like I'd never thought this many people would be here. it's the weekend too so true true plus how nice it is yeah it's pretty warm though. this guy's about to put his shoes on just right now no games are being played right now is that the guy right there doesn't he dude we showed up. Yo, no going way. On? What's going on? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Welcome to the shop, man. It's the perfect location. There's so many people here. Yeah, that's a great spot. <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't think it got like this anymore. Oh, no. It it's crazy. it's making a comeback. A row of TVs, and then you can just can can you just play the same thing across all of them? You know how yeah, they do that, yeah, at, like sports do. bars. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what we're trying to do. Check it like, out. We got look. the initial stuff up. We got like the BMX stuff on the left. Same hat. Look. Mmm, nice. How are you guys? I think this is smart too, though, because like this. This looks like uh, the symbol what? of the the way that this looks. Oh yeah. Looks almost like his symbol. I think he did it on purpose, but. Alright, here we go. Official. Look at this guy making sales. Wow. She likes the socks. Out of 
Look at this. They went for it. Big Christmas tree. Oh yeah, this is like the Christmas tree from the Grinch. All the who's down in Whoville like Christmas a lot. Finn looks like a hill right now. She does, with her little nose. With her thingy. Cindy Lou Hill. Yeah. 